Retired military securing high paying jobs in Tampa Bay. It's a growing trend in Tampa Bay, but the owner of one Tampa car dealership has made it part of his business practice for decades. Military pride is strong at Elder Ford of Tampa. I was in the Air Force, uh, went in in 77. From sales to service at Elder Ford, veterans work in every department. Danny was in the Army. This is Robo. He, he, was, he was also in the Army. For owner Rob Elder, hiring retired military is about keeping his late mother's legacy alive. She took over the family business during the recession of the 80s when Rob's dad suddenly passed away. She said, I'm not selling. And Ford Motor Company said, we think a woman can do it. And they would come every night. If, uh, when I was doing my homework, they'd have financial statements spread everywhere, and they taught her the business. And uh, she went from there, and then we ended up uh, being one of the top Hispanic woman-owned businesses in the country. And that business model still includes giving opportunities to those who served our country. But I have technicians that make $100,000 a year. Elder even jumpstarts their careers, giving workers starter toolkits valued at six to $8,000 to break into the business, while at most dealerships, employees pay for that themselves. And you don't have to go behind the scenes to feel the military pride. In the center of the showroom, there are military mementos and coin challenges. Most of the coins that are in here are actually customers of ours or, or employees. You'll even see purple hearts and sand from Normandy as retired military takes center stage at elder dealerships. You know, and here's another interesting note about Rob Elder's late mom. She not only helped run the family's car dealership, she also sat on Chicago's Federal Reserve and supported more than 90 charities. All of this while encouraging her children to use the family business to support those who serve our country. And again, when she took over that business back in the 80s, literally the family was living on food stamps. Wow. You know, the recession was really bad, and she was just determined to keep her husband's business alive. And then she grew it into what it is today, highly expanded right here in Tampa Bay. That is amazing. And then to hire those who have served us right. and, and allow them to continue to thrive, it's a beautiful story. Yeah, Thank that's you. That's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We need more businesses like that. Yeah. 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 Wow. That was awesome. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> this morning, if you're just starting your day here at 5.